Oh boy, this is going to be rough. But hey, it's your boy, Mr. Night Spider. It's been a minute. Uh, I haven't did a video in a long time, but uh, I have a lot going on in life. I uh, have a new position in my company, so that takes up a majority of my time. So I don't mean to make excuses, but let's get into it. So recently, a lot of the game stops have been closing down in my area, uh, two that I know are for sure. Uh, a lot of people have been hearing on the news there's some type of restructure going on again. Um, but I figure as much as I don't want to see anybody lose their job, also let's capitalize on them stores closing. So all these games here that you see in this pile, I've purchased for either 80 cents or a dollar. And I got about 25 games. And I haven't even really sat there and looked at them. If the camera starts wobbling, I apologize. It's kind of a ghetto rig setup, but uh, yeah, let's get a look into it. First one, Unreal Tournament. Uh, this one is a very fun game, actually. I have it on PC, but let's see here. The trick is, ooh, that looks playable. That is a pristine disc for a dollar. That is a win, hell yeah. And you get a case. You don't get that a lot sometimes. Uh, here's a receipt. Look at that. Proof. 80 cents, 80 cents, 80 cents, 80 cents. What do we got here? Monster Hunter 3 on the Wii. Not the Wii U, the Wii. I purchased this game, like, before I was even married. Ended up reselling it. But let's, the, the idea is the quality. Let's check out the quality. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's definitely going to work. GameStop, you are... You don't deserve this. It's amazing. That is uh, 80 cents, I believe. I got that one for. So, that one was a dollar. That was 80 cents. I may not remember them all. This one, Tomb Raider Anniversary. I remember seeing this uh, around a lot. So, also an 80 cents game. Is it playable? Oh my god. These stores shouldn't be closing, man. These are the one GameStops that are actually taking care of the product. And they're closing down. All the GameStops that I see now, they're just like, you don't even get a disc. This one I purchased because I remember seeing this in a NVIDIA campaign for um, their whatever NVIDIA GPU it was like 10 years ago, maybe longer. So I figured, you know what? If NVIDIA is invested in this game, I figure I'll give it a shot. It looks like I need to clean the disc, but I don't see any... Oh, there's a scratch right there. That one might be a problem. But we don't know until we give it a try. Okay, not too bad. Still not disappointed. I still think that will work. Yeah, y'all can laugh. This one I got from my... Uh, I have a two-year-old, and he can't get enough of counting and ABC, so... I saw this there, and I'm like, you know what? I'm fun to get it for him. 80 cents. Let's see. Oh, man. Pristine. We're going to be getting some numbers and ABC. That one's going in the corner. That's for baby boy. That one's going to be for baby boy. Transformers. Some type of transform game on the Wii. I... I I remember playing it on the PS3. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but once again, the ooh, that disc looks a little mollywopped. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it still might work. Just keep in mind that a lot of these games, or if you got, if I get one good one, you can still get this pre-owned for between ten to fifteen dollars, and I spent a total of twenty-three dollars on twenty-five games, so. Okay, ooh, that scared me for a second. Thought I got hustled. Let's see. This game is uh, Two Worlds. This is supposed to be the Oblivion Killer back in the day. But will it play? And I didn't mean to rhyme, dude. Even though, you know, wait till I start chopping my, uh, my freestyles. This one was, I think it was an 80 cent one, too. Uh... I think it will work. I've seen worse. But I'm going to put that in the... 
actual case, even though it's not the official case, but whatever. All right, what do we got next? Fracture. I believe this was a LucasArts game that was on PS3 and Xbox. This game's hell old. I'm talking like 2006, 2007 old. Let's see. But will the deck be clean? I'm going to put money that will work. A little dirty. But I'm thinking that will work. Crazy, right? Oh my god. So we got some Wii games, some Xbox 360 games. I know I got some PS4 and Xbox One games. I don't know what's going on. X Halo ODST. Now, I could have downloaded the DLC for six bucks for the Master Chief collection, but I figured, you know what? A dollar? Oh, yeah. But was it this look legit? Yep, it's dirty, but not any, not any deep scratches. Yeah, I think well, that's a come up right there. Get to run that off... Uh, Xbox One backwards compat. That's a win. <clears throat> Section 8. I was always curious about this game. Um, never. I think there was a lot of hype around it for the Xbox 360, but I never owned a 360 till later on in life. You know what? That's it's looking dirty, but the cool thing about Xbox One. Is backwards compatible. Once you plug it in, it just checks to see if the disc is there and it downloads the rest. So that is not a bad shot. Not bad at all. Whew, it's just taking some time. This video is longer than I expected. OG Borderlands, $1. But will it play? Will Oh my god, that disc is like perfect. Once again, worth twenty dollars. One dollar. <throat> now this one I'm really happy I found because um you can't get this game on a lot of digital markets now because they changed some of the I guess the license agreement, so they got pulled from a lot of digital ones, so um if you own it, you can download it. But if you don't own it, you're out of luck. And so some minor scratches. Looks like it's refinished. But I think once I plug it in, backwards compat will read enough of it. And it will uh, it will work. That's a creepy game though, Alan Wake. See, this is what happens. Hold on, let's stabilize it. When you got a ghetto tripod. There we go. Uh, there we go. Come on. There we go. It's stable. Bear with me, guys. I need some new equipment. I'm out of touch. I lost a lot of equipment in the move. I moved too, by the way. Brother in Arms, uh, Hell's Highway. This was the first, if not second, PlayStation 3 game I ever owned. And I uh, used to play it with my best friend, Nate, a.k.a. Itchy Smurf. What up, Itchy? Hope you're still out there. Let's see the condition. First game, I got my buddy addicted to online games because of this game. The good thing about a Blu-ray disc is that it's more durable. And it'll last a lot longer. Hey, there's me in the reflection. Hey, handsome. This is uh, a classic due to the memories. Oh, this is going to be a fun video to edit, I tell you what. Whew, what else do we got? What's next? I don't even know what I got. FIFA 2017 PS4. Now, I've heard, I'm not a big sports guy, and I'm definitely not going to be big on sports games, but for 80 cents, I heard the FIFA 17 was the best one before uh, EA started making it worse with their gimping of the game. Oh, let's see. So this would be a very 
this would be a gaming experience experiment for me. Pristine. Look at that. You see my reflection. Whew. Pristine. Yay, sports. Give sports games a chance. Okay, here we go. Next batch. Watch Dogs. <clears throat> the greatest disappointment of uh, the ninth gen. I think the ninth. Yeah. Or eighth gen. I don't know. Whatever the PS4 was. But I thought it was a fun game. I beat the game. Didn't get the DLC, but I beat the game. But as soon as I beat it, I ended up trading it in. I guess on the PS4 hype. But uh, I'm glad I have it back in my collection. It's a little dirty, but nothing I can't uh, I can't fix. Once again, proof. Door, 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 door. That's going in the trash. Fate, for whatever reason, wants me to own this game. I bought it, traded it in. Then I got the Master Chief Collection, which I had a remastered version of it. But I needed to pick a game to uh, complete, I guess. You have to buy like 10, or you had to buy five to get the five for a dollar to, for it to discount. So you had to buy something. And so this was the only game that wasn't like trash, even though I own it already. This is just going to go into like some, well, the disc in really good shape. Okay. It is going to go in some type of storage, like one of my game sleeves. I have like a old school CD case with all the, like a binder where I put all my loose disc. This game, Deadpool. I am not a huge Deadpool fan. It, people are like shocked when I say that. I just find the character obnoxious, but I always wanted to try the game. So I, I didn't even want to pay 20 bucks on the game, but you know what? For a dollar, I'll give it a try. Uh, I think it'll work. I think it'll work. And guess what? It works on backwards compat, so it just needs to be able to read the disc a little bit, and my Xbox One will download the rest. Fallout 3 game of the year. So this game I purchased for 10 bucks somewhere but it was the vanilla version but for a dollar i get all the dlc even though it's this too i didn't even notice that this too oh i hope it works but i'm thinking i'll pop this in to my uh xbox uh one n one x no, my one s and it will still download everything i'm still pretty confident about that it could be just of a a disc check. I hope so. That's gonna go in like the maybe pile. Sorry for the rattling guys, I'm trying to minimize this, but I have like this weird like a uh, car uh, mount thing going on. We get a rig, I need to buy a new tripod. Uh, Red Fraction Armageddon. So this is like when they went off the rails in this franchise and they uh tried to make it a horror game horror like scary not horrors horror uh, i think it's on backwards compat too so once again just plug it in it should work we're almost there guys almost there we're getting through Old, the original Mirror's Edge. I always wanted to play this. I heard it was like a cult classic. That will do. That will do. I tried the... Was it Mirror's Edge 2 or Catalyst, whatever? It was alright. Didn't keep my attention, but, you know, it seemed fine. Didn't seem terrible. Uh, Flashpoint. I heard this was like super realistic. Oh, PS3. So it should be have a pristine disc. Yep, just got to clean it. It'll work. The beauty of Blu-ray. Oh, the little sleeve is ratchet. Well, whatever. Another PS3 game. Once again, superior disc. Blu-rays are superior to DVDs. A dollar. Like when Camp Comp made like this random game. Got to clean the disc. 
I guess you fly around like the Rocketeer or something. And, and if you don't know the Rocketeer, I just totally dated myself. Wolfenstein. Not Wolfenstein that we're thinking. This is like a a Wolfenstein before like uh, what is it? The New Order. This is like some like supernatural type of thing. And I heard it was I heard mixed things. I think the disc will work. I think this one's not on back. I might have to go back and pat it because all the licensing issues with Activision. But I, I have an OG 360, so that should work fine. Fallout New Vegas. Oh yeah. One dollar. This game is amazing. I didn't I don't think I've ever beaten any of the Bethesda games, but the games are still amazing. And the disc looks legit. Ooh. See, I haven't even tried any of these games because I'm like, I'm gonna wait to do this video and have it all fresh and legit, you know? But now that I've gone through them and kind of sorted it out, I haven't even looked at the disc. I wanted it to be like a surprise so I could get real reactions whether I'm bummed out or not. This game, EA gave me a free copy of this on Origin. But guess what? It is so old, it won't even work on my PC. But this one might work. I look, I got the case and everything. I love it one day. Like most of these GameStops that like closed are like the better of the bunch. So sad. So that's everything I got from uh, my GameStop closing haul. A couple bonus ones for you. Remastered. I know I picked up, I got the original one. This is a remastered Xbox One version. Six bucks. Vampire. It's like, a, I'm sure, I'm hoping it's kind of like Vampire the Masquerade. Ten bucks. Usually, like, in retail, it's like 40 for new. Greedfall, I got I want to try this so bad. 15 bucks. And if you're a collector that likes your uh, figures or got the blue uh, Psycho Ranger, let's see if I pull it up. Six dollars. Anyway, it's been fun, guys. And uh, I really hope GameStop doesn't go away. I enjoy having them. Uh, see the wall with ratchet tripod. But uh, thank you for stopping by and checking out my collection and my uh, latest pickups and amazing deals. And uh, you're watching the Night Spider Collector. This is Mr. Night Spider signing out. Thank you for watching. Peace.